Okay, so breast cancer screenings are one of the biggest ways to detect the disease early. In fact, a recent study by Hologic found that the number one way women learn about mammograms is from their mothers. Hmm. Nine time a Grammy winner, mom and breast cancer survivor Cheryl Crow is joining us today, along with leading radiologist Dr. Arlene Richardson. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. So Cheryl, many women skip checkups during the pandemic. I know I put off a lot of my visits to the doctor and you've been so public about your cancer journey. Let's talk about the importance of staying on top of our health. Yeah, so in 2006, I was 44 years old and I had no family history. I was completely healthy, man. I ate well, just exercised all the time. And I had a mammogram set up six days after my birthday and really didn't want to do it, but I thought I'm just going to tick it off my list. And lo and behold, I was uh, diagnosed with invasive breast cancer. And my message to women is it can happen to anyone. One in eight women now are being diagnosed with breast cancer. And until we have a cure, early detection is our best weapon. Um, I'm, I'm happy to say at least that our technology is advancing. Even though we don't have a cure yet, we do now have better technology with a 3D mammogram. Um, uh, when I was diagnosed, there was only a 2D. And for a woman like me, I have dense breasts, which is what most women have. Sometimes it can be very tricky to detect. So I just encourage women, get your mammogram screening back on your calendar, age 40 on, just make sure and yearly get that screening. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's important that everyone take care of their health so that they can be around for all of their loved ones. Yeah, and, and you know it best. I love that you're sharing your story to inspire other women out there. But the, the next question for Dr. Richardson, what advice do you have for women who may be behind, as you mentioned, on their screenings because of the pandemic? I recommend that women just reach out to their doctors and make their annual appointment today. Make that appointment for your mammogram today because it's really important. Like Cheryl said, early detection is key. You want to get that mammogram when you don't have any symptoms. You don't want to wait until you have a lump. That's why you need to get a mammogram every year to make sure you catch that cancer as early as possible. So I recommend for you, for your family, for your loved ones that you check in on yourself at least once a year. So if you put it off due to the pandemic, don't put it off any longer. Just call your doctor and make an appointment. If you want to find a mammogram near you, you can visit Genius3DNearMe.com and find a mammogram near you. So make an appointment and put yourself a priority today. And Cheryl, we, we want to talk about uh, your documentary, which premiered on Showtime, which is owned by our company. So please give us a little sneak peek and tell us what it's like to actually speak out about what you've gone through in your life. Well, it was really an interesting process. You know, I love documentaries through the pandemic. That's basically what, you know, what kept me inspired watching other people's documentaries. But when I was approached by Showtime, I thought, well, I don't want to do a documentary because I still have this whole life in front of me. Um, and it wound up being an amazing process to look back on 30 or 40 years or even all the way back to when I was a kid. Um, just to reflect on the person as opposed to the artist. I mean, we're all of us that are in the public eye, there's a person behind um, that, you know, shiny image. And what I've gone through as a woman in my business, certainly I've been being around for 30, 40 years in this business, I've seen a lot change, I've seen a lot of things not change. Um, I've had a lot of life experience. And so it was great. It was great to be able to sit down and really, you know, tell the full story. So hopefully the people that watch it will be inspired or um, will find some joy in that. Yeah, Cheryl, I just heard about it this morning. So looking forward to watching it on Showtime. And thanks again for both of you for waking up so early to talk about something so important. So we'll see you next time and I'll see you on, on TV on the documentary. Thanks. Well, thanks thank for having you. us. Thank you both. Dr. Arlene Richardson as well. We'll be right back with more information. You can go to CBSLA.com. Click Scene on TV for more information on how you can get screened.